Welcome to another Nerd Entrepreneurs video, where we interview young entrepreneurs and share insights into their mindsets, their tactics and tools to inspire you to get on your own entrepreneurial journey. In this video, we talk to Johannes Weiss, co-founder of Conode, and ask him how he went from being very introverted to be able to talk in front of a lot of people. Keep watching. Yeah, back then I actually that I uh, left that out before. Be between the bachelor and the master, I did an apprenticeship at as poly mechanic. Yeah. So I was more focused on technical or engineering. Yeah. And um, I was working even in during the master studies at ABB. Yeah. In, in a project team for lean management. Okay. And. Um, yeah, I, I would say I was more an, an introvert, mm -hmm. so more um, working in that team, but but trying to optimize for myself the, the whole product line there and um, had some small responsibilities for, for projects. Yeah. Um, but being an entrepreneur requires to really be more outgoing yes. open to network and um, I think the during the studies I learned that mm -hmm. <clears throat> to um, be in on networking events pre doing presentations mm -hmm. and all that stuff people usually don't like to do yeah and um, I think that also um, something that changed I changed personally in, in this regard yeah. because as an entrepreneur, you definitely need to do that. You yeah. need to go out, do the pitches in front of a couple of hundred people. Yeah. Um, and that's and to, to bring out the good message. And yeah. I, I would say this is something I haven't done before and um, I'm doing way better today. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, you have a vision and your job is to convince other people that you don't know to follow your vision, basically. So that is a very, a very tough job, I imagine. Yeah. Um, what would you tell someone who is an introvert and who is not studying at a university where he does a lot of presentation, he or she doesn't do a lot of presentation? How would you, you know, what would you tell that person to do as a first step? And, and get to know that environment? I think there are always opportunities to, for example, do a presentation. Yeah. Um, try to get somehow exposed. Mm -hmm. Take, for example, a specific responsibility at a student organization. That's, for example, something or in a sports club where you need to be um, responsible for for the general assembly or yeah. or whatever. So try to to really get out, get out of the building, yeah. and um, talk to people and get into situations where you more or less don't feel comfortable, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, there are always, uh, I would say, opportunities to do that, even though the university or maybe your current employer. Um, doesn't provide such opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I, I also agree with you. I, I have the same situation. I'm mm -hmm. more of a, you know, or I was more of the quiet guy in, in the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I think it's a practice thing, really. You, you get out of, out of your comfort zone, as you said. You do one little presentation, then you do the next. And you get comfortable with this, with this situation. You get better at it. And then it really helps you share that message and that vision that you want people to follow. Let's say five years ago, I heard all that talk, like get out and yeah. do that stuff. And I said, okay, so not working for me, but actually it did. So yeah. I went out <laughs> and um, now I'm feeling quite more comfortable yeah. than before doing yeah. such stuff. That's yeah. great.